quite a night, quite a night to say the least. Uh, I guess probably maybe for an opening statement, I think I would like to say how proud I am, you know, of these kids every single week. Uh, things aren't ever easy for us, uh, but one thing I think that this coaching staff has learned that you can count on every single week is the guts and the determination and the willing to go out and pay the price to fight all game long. And uh, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't pretty. I mean, we made mistakes tonight. We had more penalties than obviously than you'd like to have. Um, but, you know, their courage in the second half to kind of jump start and get in, uh, driving down, taking the lead seven to nothing. And then clearly the biggest play of the entire night was Fred Russ on kickoff cover. I mean, we've tried to develop a reputation on special teams of being unique and special that, you know, if, if it's going to come down to the outcome of a game, uh, you know, we want our special teams to create plays for us. And uh, early in the season, a lot of the other games, we've had great things with the punt team. We've had great team, great things with field goals and stuff. Tonight, we, we botched a little bit of a field goal in the first half. Uh, but Fred going down and forcing that fumble, and then obviously uh, Shamir covering it, but then the offense going out and immediately uh, going for the quick strike. And, uh, you know, Sean Darius catching the ball, and obviously they're flying up run support. And, uh, you know, he did a great job. Alex did a great job under pressure because they actually had a free man rushing off the edge and in his face. Um, I'd like to also, you know, compliment Alex Magoo again. Um, you know, he's an amazing young man. Uh, he's got a lot of physical talent, so he can make every throw that you want. But I think his biggest gift is the, is the energy that he brings to the offense. And I think, you know, I've always felt like that guys – that were the elite types of quarterbacks, they have a little bit of a term that's kind of magic. That just somehow, some way, no matter how bad something goes, the protection's not there, the route didn't run right, you know, the coverage and all that stuff, and somehow, some way, he finds a way to make things happen. And uh, uh, he is a terrific leader and a, an outstanding player for our football team. And, uh, you know, it was a, a complete team win because I'm going to tell you what, UTSA is a good football team. Frank Wilson is a very good football coach, and they came in here with the number one ranked defense in a multitude of categories, run defense and third downs and, and their ability. They got several kids in the defensive line that are going to play on Sundays in the NFL. And, and for us to be able to protect the way in which we did, uh, you know, was, was outstanding by our offensive line, our tight ends, backs did a great job chipping their way out and stuff. So um, congratulations to our kids. Oh, yeah. Well, Trayvon, obviously, I mean, he, you know, he's one of those guys that's just all over sideline to sideline. He's got excellent, he's got excellent instincts, and he reads things, he diagnoses things. And the one thing about really good defensive players is, is once they diagnose it and they know what it is, he's got that burst and that acceleration to close on the quarterback, the running back, the receiver. And, and uh, you know, he made – I mean, he made multitudes of, of big plays in the, in the in the second half, and and the whole defense. I mean, the goal line stand down there. I mean, you want to talk about keeping them out of the end zone from the one yard line. I mean, that that takes a lot of heart and that takes a lot of determination. And uh, because we were gassed, to be honest with you, our defensive line guys were tired, and somehow, some way, they found the courage and the guts to suck it up to be able to knock the offensive line back, control the line of scrimmage, and then you know keep them out of the end zone. Yeah, well, one, I mean, obviously, I mean, the botch field goal and, and not getting that done, I mean, you know, we, we've we been outstanding. I mean, Jose's been done a terrific job kicking all season long. And, uh, you know, we just, it, it, you know, the, the snap and the hold, it just wasn't on time. And uh, obviously, it ended up being a, a huge, gigantic, we don't get three points, but they get gigantic, huge field position. And uh, they drove down, and then the one thing, we ended up forced to punt, and, you know, took the ball over at the three or four yard line. And one of the things was we were able to move the ball. We hit the big pass play to Pharaoh McKeever out around the 35 or 40. And that allowed us to kind of flip the field position because we played an awful lot in that first half backed up against, you know, against the grain. And, uh, and it, you know, a lot of tribute goes to the defense for being able to go out there and, and keep them out of the end zone with a lot of the bad field position that they had. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously, I mean, he's he's going to always be a, the other team's focal point. I mean, they're going to look at him just simply because of the statistics that he's got. Uh, but one thing that you can count on T.O., you're, you can count on him making plays and obviously getting into the end zone. But the one thing that I love about him is, is that he is one of the most unselfish wide receivers that I've ever been around, that he is as willing to block on the running game and he's as willing to run great routes when he's not the number one read. I mean, to blow the top off the coverage and allow Pharaoh to get into that intermediate or to get, allow somebody else to make some catches. Uh, he is he, He's just an excellent football player. And, and uh, you know, we, we pretty much count on him to be able to deliver a lot of plays before the night's over with. Coach, yes, sir. Two fourth down stops, taking the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. how, is, how is that compared to the defense last week where you gave up some points late, yeah. a little bit more of a shootout? How do you feel about the defense this week against the Eagles? Well, I mean, every every week is a uniquely different challenge for our kids, simply because of the nature in which that other teams play. And UTSA came in here with a really, really good running attack. We had a lot of respect for their running backs. Um, and they pulled some things on us tonight that we had not seen them do tonight. I mean, they pulled the ball out and they allowed the quarterback to run. And it took us a while, and, and I'm not sure that 100% that we found the actual answer for that because that was the play that kept bailing them out. Second down and eight, first down. Third down and six, first down. And uh, and they did a nice job. Their execution, you got to give their coaches a lot of credit for being able to do that. But, uh, you know, our kids, they just, I mean, they have the, they have the willingness and the grit to just play one play at a time, one possession at a time, and just and just keep competing and keep fighting. And I mean, they, they've had their backs to the wall. Tonight was was one of them, and maybe this was the biggest back to the wall. But obviously, they've been there at Rice with the four downs at the end of the game, uh, you know, four downs inside the ten yard line with an opportunity to either tie it or maybe go for two and maybe even win the game. So uh, those kids, they just go out there and they compete and they just execute and try to do the best they can. Yeah, well, I mean, I think, you know, I, I think our kids, obviously, the one thing that they have done all season long is that they've been able to, to compartmentalize the previous weeks and just say, you know what, it's, we're 0-0, zero, zero. we want to be 1-0 and at the end of the week, and, and whether we'd won three games, four games, or five games, and tonight was six games, and I hope that next week, I mean, it's the same thing. All we want to do is try to win the next game and play the very best that we can, and and, uh, and, th and that tribute obviously goes to the coaches because they are the ones that are the messengers that carry that and the players and they receive it and they understand it. And, and we didn't come here and we didn't start the season with the idea that our goal was to win six games. I mean, we are, we're not where we would like to be and, uh, and we're going to keep fighting for the rest of the season. Thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you all.